Hey everybody, uh, I'm Phil from Corpus Coffee. Today we're gonna do a early brew of San Pedro. This is a coffee that's very near and dear to us here at Corpus Coffee and that you guys have been a big part of um, improving and making a difference at the farm level with. This is the sixth year um, that we have worked with Ciro and Avero. And Ciro is actually retiring this year. Um, and Albero's taking over the farm, and that's a pretty big transition, but we're really excited to see this legacy continue because this is one of our favorite coffees and a coffee that it's like our customers have uh, grown to really, really love. So let's go ahead and dive into it. This is a pretty easy coffee to brew, and its profile is very flexible. You can get a lot out of it at a lot of different ranges, and it's uh, pretty hard to mess up. It's a great everyday, easy brewing coffee, easy drinking coffee, with a lot of nuance. All right, so right off the grounds, this is uh, pretty fragrant. I feel like of all the years that we've worked at San Pedro, this harvest is one of the top. At its best, the qualities I attribute to this coffee are typically like butteriness and orange-like acidity. And there's a lot of like very sweet, ripe orange um, right off the fragrance. It kind of is a punch in the nose in a good way. So I feel like it's probably difficult to quantify a lot of times as a coffee buyer. Like how much good is buying better coffee doing, but Ciro and Albero have been able to invest in new depulking equipment. They've put in facilities for their pickers to stay at so that they can incentivize better picking. They've put in dining facilities for them and they've expanded a lot of their drying space. One of the problems that they have in Colombia there is that a lot of the sherry's harvest right at the same time. And so they almost get overwhelmed and are unable to process all the cherries at the peak season when really quality is highest. So because you've been so excited about this coffee for the last six years, they've been able to handle that problem among many others. But showing up every year and being excited and sharing our customers' excitement for their coffee in particular is really validating their work. And one of the reasons that Albero is excited to continue in coffee now that his father's retiring. So he knows that there's a specific roaster with specific customers that enjoy their coffee. And that's just like the validation I think we all look for. Let's uh, pull this out and try it. Yeah, this is so good to see. The, right off the hot aroma of the coffee, it's like a perfect balance of like the perfect typification of San Pedro, like butter and ripe ones. And this coffee is so smooth. I feel like there's like coffees that just hit two seemingly opposite things sometimes right on the nose and that is approachability. Like this is a coffee that I feel like you could give to anyone and they would really like it. That kind of smooth, it's sweet, it's balanced, it's not crazy wild person. So it's still smooth and, and buttery, but I think it, now that it's cooling, it's getting a lot more of the orange, like soft, ripe orange flavors, and more of like a juicy mouthfeel, which is a super nice change. It's just a coffee you can probably just drink for an hour and let it get cool, and it's kind of, there's no like negative flavors coming up at all in the aftertaste. And that just speaks to like how well Ciro and Avero um, process their coffee. They, they handle it with care, again, because they know that there's a specific roaster and who have specific customers that enjoy their coffee. So I think that that is sort of connection and in my experience has always made producers want to produce better coffee and they know who's consuming it. So you, our customers, are a big part of that and are a big part of the success story of, of San Pedro. So hope you get a chance to enjoy this season's coffee. Mm, that's good. Man, that's so good.